Hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dreamland. Stage 3, Float Islands, where Kirby eats his own fishing rod. Anyway, this is Float Islands, where there's star blocks, there's shells that can shoot lasers at you, and there's bombs and falling coconuts. Gotta watch out for them falling coconuts. They hurt really bad. Anyway, there's also star cannons in the water and star infested water which is kind of weird but that's okay this is Kirby's world and flying squids too just yeah and a microphone too it's just, yeah anyway I got a better mic and my audio is better because you can actually hear the audio now so yeah it should be a much better video than my first one which was actually quite boring anyway moving on there is a few enemies here. We find a secret. And in the star infested water, what do we find? Why, well, one up, of course. Except we won't really need it, except in a couple of cases. But I assure you, the lives you got at the start of the game are enough to last you the whole game. Because this is quite an easy game. There may be a couple parts where I die, but yeah, it's alright. Anyway, moving on to this door, we find fish with goggles and super spicy curry, the spiciest and most delicious food in the world. Uh, just don't want to get hit by cannons. That's not good. Anyway, fly away and you can breathe fire, because Kirby can so breathe fire. Have you ever breathed fire when you've eaten something spicy? I know I have fun experience because you actually finally have superpowers for once. Anyway, by touching water for some reason he turns back into normal, which doesn't make much sense but I don't really care. Anyway, we see another shell and we kill it. There's more cannons. And there's the warp star. Where is Kirby going to fly off to next? Uh oh, there's the whale. Don't do it Kirby. Ah, oh, way to piss off a whale. And now you're in the sky. Good job. In the sky, there's still some sea creatures. And a hybrid of a turkey and a lemon. But that's okay. And now we're fighting this blimp thing. And I was never really good at this boss right here because I was never really good at 2D shooters. But we will beat him. Don't worry. For my two viewers. See, I told you. And there's the star we get for mm, our reward. We get to see Kirby dance. All for fun. Anyway, stage four, bubbly clouds. And he multiplies for some reason. It's all good fun. Anyway, we continue on and we see uh, a cannon in the sky. And Waddle Dees and all these little enemies. I don't really know their names. Except these guys. These guys are Scarfies. You kill them and they explode, which isn't a very pleasant experience. So if you kill them, be far away. Mm, these guys are on parasols. I want one, but I can't. And the cannon's on a parasol too, which makes no sense, but oh well. Anyway, onward we meet Sir Kibbles and Bits, who likes to throw boomerangs at us, and that's not very nice. And Waddle Do likes to shoot beams at us, which also isn't nice, but Kirby is the fearless, eating, hungry warrior. Yeah. And he's not pink, he's white. Anyway, on through the clouds, there's uh, little dudes with spikes on their heads, but yeah. No one really cares about them that much. They're not that important. Anyway, we're about to die, but we won't die, will we? That thing right there says no, and he says no too. And Sir Kibbles and Bits tries to kill us, but he fails miserably. And then there's the eyeball monster, also known as Krako, which kills us in one hit and we die. Don't worry, that probably won't happen again. 
Anyway, this boss has a repeating pattern. I don't know why you really need an FAQ for this guide, I mean game, because this game really isn't all that hard and I'm pretty sure you can figure everything out on your own. Anyway, we kill him, we get another warp star. Where are you going now, Kirby? Oh no, he crashed into the space and now we find another turkey lemon hybrid and we fly off for more adventure. And we are gonna bust open these blocks and not get hit, please. But we will get a maximum tomato because they are the yummy. And then there's Waddle Dees, we're gonna kill them because they're walking around and Kirby doesn't like it when people walk around. Stupid Waddle Dees. Anyway, we move on killing this Scarfy and going through the door. There's more spicy curry, yummy. And yes, in case you didn't know, this was a brawl item. And this is where it originated. Yay! And there's stars that they touch you, you get hit, which didn't happen to us because they're pretty easy to avoid. And we got hit by a Waddle Dee, which is apparently a kamikaze Waddle Dee because they explode whenever they touch me. And here's Cracko. He's one of my favorite bosses in the Kirby series. Yeah, he's that awesome. Anyway, he shoots beams at you, kind of like a Waddle Dee, but it circles around him. And he has two beams instead of one at a time. And he dashes into you, which is often gets annoying when you're trying to eat a Waddle Dee when he does that. Anyway, he doesn't, he won't stand a chance against us, because his other form is actually harder, but whatever. Uh, you can give me a wall of D now, please. Thank you. Anyway, just one more, and okay, thank you. And now we get the star and we get to do our happy dance once more. Yay, for happy dancing. Wasn't that fun? Anyway, stage five, the last stage, Mount DDD with epic music. <laughs> All right. And now we arrive into his castle. But to get to him first, we must defeat all the enemies. Will Kirby survive? Find out in the next episode of Kirby's Dreamland! Goodbye.